interestingly, the same exact brain circuit that's controlling feeding is, is also um, interfaces with nicotine and perhaps nicotine addiction or nicotine influence on things like appetite. We all know somebody who doesn't want to quit using nicotine because they think that they're going to gain weight. And there's probably some reality to it. And the fact is, is that acetylcholine is probably regulating this appetite, uh, th this appetite circuit. Now, moreover, I think the significance of what we found here is not only this interface between something like habit, addiction, um, feeding circuits, and perhaps nicotine uh, influencing all of this. Interestingly, what it has shown us is that by genetically manipulating these cell types, turning them on, turning them off, or killing them, um, these cells alone can govern a very, very important behaviorally relevant and physiologically relevant circuit. So it can control something as complex as feeding. If we turn these cells on, um, the animals feed less. If we turn them off or kill them, they feed more. So this very small population of cells in the center of our brain is basically regulating what we call a satiety circuit. Um, something that we think is governing our whole idea of whether we're hungry or not. Now this is really interesting because many times you think, okay, our stomach is growling, we're hungry, there's things in the periphery, maybe you have less nutrition, maybe you're, you have more nutrition, um, and that governs it all. The reality is, is that every peripheral cue that we're getting from our stomach, um, insulin signaling, blood sugar, that all goes into the brain, is processed in the brain, and the brain itself is telling the body whether or not it should eat. And this very small population of cells is having a huge influence over all of this. And we think that it's probably linked to a cholinergic signaling in the way that we're putting some sort of value on food or feeding. So, um, aside from the nicotine correlation, is that feeding itself might be a habit or an addiction. Which is also very, very interesting because this idea that you're hungry is all in your head. It's, there's maybe just genetically the differences between our cholinergic signaling between us um, influence our whole metabolic or body signature based on whether we think we're hungry or not.